Creating modded Minecraft servers for you and your friends to play on is easy. And I'm going to prove it to you. My name is John and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own dedicated RL Craft server on Windows. Since this video has no sponsor, I wanted to take a quick second to tell you a little bit about a project that I've been working on. Every single video on my YouTube channel that has done even remotely well has either been centered around my home lab or around Minecraft. And because of that, I started thinking, what could I do to combine these two subjects and provide something to you, the viewer, that would actually be valuable? The more I thought about it, the more I realized that it could potentially be relatively difficult for somebody to run both a dedicated server and the client side of a mod pack at the exact same time. And so I realized I already have the hardware thanks to my home lab to be able to run a whole bunch of these servers at the same time. So why not set them up and just let you guys use them? I currently have my main vanilla server and 15 modded Minecraft servers up and running right now. But by the end of this, I plan to have well over 150 total servers running at once. The goal of this project is simply to allow friends to be able to play with each other on a server without one of them having to take the incredible performance hit of actually having to run that server for themselves. Again, this is totally free, so please feel free to share the server information with whoever you think might actually use it. Okay, back to the video. So step number one when installing any modded Minecraft server is to download the server files. The easiest way to do that for RLCraft is to go to curseforge.com. Now once you're here, you're going to click on Minecraft, and then it'll be this top first mod pack right here. So click on RLCraft, go to Files, and then scroll down just a little bit, and you'll see the RLCraft server pack 1.12.2. Click Download on that file, and then the next step is to make sure you have the correct version of Java installed. For this server, we're going to be using Java 8. Now to download and install Java 8, open up Chrome again, and then search for Java 8 Download. It'll be this first link here. And then all you have to do is scroll down until you see this Windows 64 bit installer, download the installer and install it from there. It's a very simple install. But you just click next through the whole thing uh, and you should be good to go. Now to make sure you have the correct version of Java installed and running, you should be able to open up a command prompt window and then run the command Java space dash version. And it'll show you that you're running Java 1.8.341. The only other thing we need to download for this specific mod pack is uh, Minecraft Forge. So you should be able to search for Forge 1.12.2 and it'll be this first link that pulls up its downloads for Minecraft Forge. Click the installer right here and then that will uh, send you to a page where you can actually download it. You'll have to wait a couple seconds but then you'll be able to download. Next, I would highly recommend creating some sort of folder struct or storing all the files solely because if you end up running multiple of these servers or have several that you want to install, uh, it can get quite cluttered very quickly. So having a dedicated folder for each one of them helps with that. So we're going to paste all of our stuff inside of here. Next, we're going to right click on Forge, go to Properties, and we're going to click Unblock and Apply. We're going to do the exact same thing for the RLCraft server. Unblock and Apply. We are then going to extract the actual server pack to the folder that we're in. And then once it's done extracting, we're gonna copy and paste this Forge installer into that folder. So paste it inside of here, and then we're gonna double click this and run it. We're gonna make sure we click on the install server, and then we're gonna go ahead and change the directory that we're installing this to, to the directory that we are currently at. So select that one, click OK, and then it'll start installing the CurseForge part of this to this folder that we're in right now. You can see here that it's successful, and then next, all we have to do is create a launcher, and then we should be good to go. So right click, click New, Text Document, we're going to call this run.bat, open up the run.bat.txt, then just copy and paste what I have down in the description below. It's going to it's going to be a modified version of this that should work for your specific server. And then make sure to control save should be good to close out of that. And then we can rename this and remove the TXT part. So double click that and it should start up the server. Now, while the server is launching for the first time, it's going to end up downloading quite a bit of stuff and it will catch on the EULA right here. The Mojang end user license agreement has not been accepted. Click any key. It'll exit out of that. Double click on the EULA. Change the false here to say true. Save that, close out of it, and then you can double click the run.bat again and it'll actually start up the server for the first time. Now I will say just because the server's running does not necessarily mean that other people are gonna be able to join this server. In order to do that, you're gonna to have to set up port forwarding on your computer. Now I wish there was some easy, simple way to explain exactly how to do that, um, but the best way to figure it out for you in particular is to just Google search how to port forward and then the model of your specific router that your home uses. Uh, there's not really a one-size-fits-all for that, but if you Google that, you should be able to figure it out pretty quickly. 
Now it is important to note, you're gonna to want to port forward from the IP that the server is running on, and you're gonna to wanna to port forward the port 25565 from internal to external. Once you do that, your friends will be able to join the server as long as you've given them your public IP address. Now in order to find your public IP address, another very simple task, just Google what is my public IP. The first link that shows up there will tell you exactly what that is. You can copy paste it, send it on Discord, send it over a text. Uh, be careful who you send it to because you don't want everybody knowing your public IP. Um, but anybody that you want to join will need to paste that into the Minecraft server address portion when they're adding it on their mod pack in particular. So there you have it. You have a fully functioning running RL craft server that you and your friends can play on. Again, like we talked about at the beginning of this video, if you find out that your computer can't quite support the client side and the server side of this mod pack, please feel free to join my discord. There's going to be a URL in there that you can join one that we have set up and hosted. So your computer doesn't have to take that performance hit. Also, if you run into any technical issues, if you have any problems setting the server up, you can either leave a comment down in the comment section below. I tend to answer all of the comments down there or you can uh, join my Discord. There's gonna be a text channel or you can create a ticket. Uh, either one of those works and we'll get back to you on what issues we think you're having or what we think you can do to help fix the issues that you're having. So you made it this far in the video. You might as well go ahead and like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.